Okay, let's go on crude oil. I'm going to show you how to catch these wrongly positioned traders when these counter trend traders come in. The best way to do it is, and this works on all markets, what I like to do, first of all, we went over the last two videos, if you want to uh, review them this weekend, at daytradingthefutures.com. Uh, We've got, um, if you go under recent videos, play the last two videos, I show you exactly how to get in with the, how to, how to, how to read a trend chart, the trend chart, how to read chop versus trend. So you can play that video yesterday and it tells you how to read chop versus trend. This is a trend chart right here. Very easy to see. You can see we are in an uptrend. So if you need to find out how to understand on any market, if you are chopping or you're trending, please play that video on October the 16th, October 16th, I'm sorry, August the 16th. And, uh, will uh, it'll get you going in the right direction on how to know if you're in a trend or chop. Also, the previous video on the uh, 15th, play that video, it shows you how to get in to a chop or trend market with the arrows, retracement fib arrows. So let's go over today. We know we're in a trend market. We're above all three MAs. The most important part of this chart, the trend chart, is the open versus close. I have a trend filter built into this Rinko bar. So these candles represent the trend of the market. It represents the open versus close, the most important relationship in trading. It's not the highs and lows per se. The opens versus close lets you know if you're in a trend up or trend down. So you can see we've never closed below my smaller MA by more than 50% candle. So you can see we are running up. We have not had any short positions at all on crude this morning. So this is the first chart you look at, and you can replay that video yesterday. I go in detail if, if you're in trend or chop. That's the first thing you establish in trading. But how do I know when the counter trend traders are coming in or the wrongly positioned traders are getting positioned? It's very easy to do on this chart. What I'd like to see is, is if I'm above all three MAs, and this works on all markets, if I see the first red candle that comes in, I know I possibly got a trade coming up on the five Simrinko, my chart right next door to me with the symmetry dots. And so once I see that first red bar close, open versus close relationship, I know that wrongly positioned traders are getting short the market. They're called counter trend traders. Now, ever since I've been looking at these markets since the uh, late 80s, early 90s, is that Counter trend traders, I've never seen one counter trend trader make any money. I mean, no ticks. Because you can do a corrective wave. I don't call that a counter trend trade, a corrective wave, if you get inside a profile. I, I, I don't consider that a counter trend. I consider that a corrective wave. So, But if, you, if you're strictly going to counter the market and trend, you're typically going to come out the wrong side. you got a very high chance of getting stopped out. So what we want to do is we want to be trend traders and buy fib retracements and what we want to do is we want to try to buy fib retracements with overall trend direction that's what we're trying to do in, on trend days this is a trend day today so when the first let's look at the first one when the first red bar comes up and closes that note that tells me as a trader that we got the wrongly positioned traders coming in the market as soon as that red bar closes i want to come over here and look at my my symmetry dot five sim chart and I want to see where my symmetry dots are. I have three of them that post today, my blue dots. My blue dots are going to tell me that that's where we should launch. Within a couple ticks, and they come within a couple ticks, the wick can blow, go below it, meaning the lower high can go below or above the symmetry dots here. This, In this case, below. It just can't close a whole body candle close below before you get an arrow. So I want to position myself long when I get positive market delta within a couple ticks of these symmetry dots. So you can see that we have positive market delta here, and this is where an actually arrow fired on the next one. So let's go to the next one, which is more recent. A lot of you guys uh, got on this trade if you are trading after 7.30 this morning. It's happening around 7. Uh, I'm sorry, just after 8 o'clock. So a lot of you guys probably got this one on crude. Um, you can see that the, the first... Uh, red candle close 
that the rolling position traders are getting in right here. So you get the retracement. As soon as that bar closes red, I want you to stare at the five Simrenko. So this is where the bar closed red on my trend chart. What you want to do is wait for symmetry to come down within two ticks. It's just gorgeous when it lines up like this. This is where my arrow fired on my system this morning. It came within two ticks. There's my arrow to get long. Right there, we get long on the arrow. Place your stop two ticks below the swing low. Scale your first target on a trend chart. You scale your first target and let the other 50% run and try to get to the second to third set of symmetry dots. So that's how we do it. And you use the long-term chart, long-term Renko. Your long-term Renko chart to position yourself after the counter trend traders start coming in. As soon as that bar closes red, you look at this five sim Renko. Try to get near the symmetry dots. Look for the arrow to fire. You're good to go. Now, how can I trade the three sim though? That's the five sim. That's the easiest way to trade the five sim Renko off that nine trend. It's the best way to trade it. The way I can trade the three sim in hot markets, I can trade the other side of symmetry. As soon as I close outside of the red here, I want to look for the three sim Renko, my smaller time frame, to fire an arrow long. And that happened yesterday. It happened the day before. It happened on gold yesterday. It happened on crude. Wednesday, when I set you guys up for those two trades on gold and crude, we had over $400 uh, potential risking maximum 130 bucks. And it happened right after I talked about it, about three or four minutes later. So you want to break through symmetry, then you watch the three. I did not trade. I do not want you guys to look at trading any fib arrows in chop when you're in range, only trend. And number two, I don't want you to trade the three sim Renko unless you break through symmetry on the other side. And that's the easiest way to trade the system. Find the trend. Once you find the trend, wait for the wrongly positioned traders to come in the market. I call those the novice traders. The counter trend traders are the novice traders of the market, which really on retail, that's a lot of traders because all the traders that I've run into when I was a guest speaker at the Traders Expo here shortly, I mean, uh, not too long ago, in November, over 5,000 traders there, and every trader I talked to was trading some type of pretty much counter trend trading system, and that's why they get run over. So we're not like that. We're trying to buy retracements with overall trend direction unless it's chop. If it's chop, I played the video yesterday, I tell you how to trade chop. But you're getting about three trend days like this a week on any given market, any given time. So watch the trend chart. When the first red bar comes in, you know the wrongly positioned traders are coming in the market, the counter trend traders. Start watching the five sim Renko. Where, look where the symmetry dots are. They come with a couple ticks. Look for the arrows to fire like they did this morning. They fired perfectly, and we're off to a great start again this morning. You don't want to look at the three, my other fib retracement chart, unless you get through the other side of symmetry, the red, like we are now, and then you can jump on the three cents.